Hi there, we're the Move 2 Palm Beach team. Uh, this is the real tea. So again, our nice, vague, uncopyrightable <laughs> title for our informational series. We're gonna give you information uh, and uh, fun facts about real estate, especially in beautiful Palm Beach County. Uh, today, I'm happy to say that we are in the Point Santa Plaza. It's one so. of our favorite spots in all of Palm Beach. Yeah, it's really gorgeous over here. So we get to see these beautiful palm trees. We're just gonna walk around like this little yeah. garden area. I Either highly recommend you coming over here and having lunch at St. Ambrose or getting a drink at the Honor Bar. It's beautiful here. Absolutely. So let's get on topic. Okay. So the difference between a CMA, a comparative market analysis, that's what that is, and an appraisal. Now, first of all, we are real estate agents. We cannot do an appraisal. We're realtors. Yes, we are specifically. Yes. Um, not all real estate agents are realtors, are realtors but all, all realtors, realtors are, are real estate, estate agents. agents. There you go. So, yes, we are both. Um, an appraisal has to be done by a licensed appraiser in the state of Florida. Correct. Now, the thing about an appraisal is that can tell you how much your house, you know, is worth in value. Okay. And a comparative market analysis is completely different. That's how much your house can sell for. Correct. So I want you to think of it this way. You could have this big, gorgeous, beautiful mansion and there's say, gold all through the inside. Oh yes. But then the, you know, economy takes a stink and nobody wants to buy a house. So it's not what your house is worth. It's what your house can sell for. Correct. So some people might think a little differently. You know, they need to sell their house, even if the market's bad. So suddenly their appraisal was up here. The comparative market analysis would be down there. Right. So it just really depends like what's going on with the market. It's very important. So uh, first off, how do we make a comparative market analysis? Uh, we're going to uh, first come to your house. That's really important. We got to look at your house and what it's like. Uh, we can do it kind of online a little bit. We can kind of research around. It is totally fine to do a CMA without seeing the house, mm -hmm. but it is not a true picture of what it could be. What we want to do is actually be able to come in and see the house because we're just going based on what is around your area, mm -hmm. what's comps for that area. And if you've done any kind of work to the inside Absolutely. of the house that we can't see, we can't include that in the CMA. So we really do have to come to your house I know, I know people hate laying other people into their house to do some work like this, but it's really for your best interest. So that way we can have a full gauge of how your house looks. Exactly. So if you're trying to sell your house and let's say over the years you've made improvements, like five years ago, you replaced the roof and you had to fix a bathroom. So it's completely renovated. All that will positively impact your CMA. Another sort of thing is like if you bought a house that is like from the 50s and you gutted it and you completely redid everything, the wiring, the plumbing, everything like it's that. It's almost like a new house. It's almost like a new house. We would not know that looking at the comps because we would just see, oh, it's a 1960s house. Now, sometimes it's hard to, uh, you know, gauge what something is worth on the market. For example, <laughs> let's say you have a planned community. Every house is identical. You have an addition. So all the houses have three bedrooms. Your has house a has a fourth bedroom. Yep. So we that's where uh, the comparative market analysis becomes more like an art. We have to go inside and figure out how much is a bedroom worth and add that in value to your house. Correct. It is really important that you get a gauge of exactly how much your house can sell for because for us as realtors it's really good for us to know so that way we can actually price it if we're selling your house at the appropriate market value mm -hmm. because if it is too high it's going to sit on the uh, sit on the market That's and it's going to rot which you don't want we don't want that either and if we price it too low people are going to think what's wrong with it yeah or you know better yet you don't get your investment out of your house exactly you don't get your equity back so there's a lot of problems with uh, having um, you know, not pricing the house properly when you put it on the market. Uh, my goal as a listing agent is to make sure that your house would sell, you know, at the highest price as fast as possible. That's when we know everything is going right. That means the market's healthy. That means the house is priced correctly and you're getting your equity back. The longer it sits on the market, you know, you have to pay for taxes. Mm -hmm. You have to pay for the utilities, utilities, HOA fees, like all that stuff. And just to comment on one thing, Patrick is a listing agent. He will be doing all that stuff for you. I am a seller's agent. 
so I will take you around to look at new houses. But at the end of the day, we work together and we will be both on your side to help you throughout the entire journey of buying or selling your property. And precisely, but let's talk about that for a minute. What, let's say I've made a mistake on my, on my side and a house is priced a little too high and it's sitting on the market. You know, what happens after day 100? What do you start doing on your side if you want to buy the house? You start negotiating really hard if it's over 100 days. So sometimes if there's somebody that misses the mark just a little bit or there's a problem with like, you know, the stock market tanks a little bit or whatever, after about 30 to 60 days, we will come to you and we'll say like, listen, it's not moving. We haven't seen anybody come through. And something needs to change. Yeah. Maybe that's lowering the asking price. Maybe it's something- uh, Very simple. Simple, like we, we try to make sure we take professional photographs beforehand. Right. We try to make sure that the house is staged beforehand, mm -hmm. before it's on the market. But you know, you first maybe search for those things to exactly. fix first. Lowering the price, it's so easy just to cut money off the price, but it, it really hurts the same. It hurts the bottom line. That's your pocketbook. And mm -hmm. we understand that. And that's the reason why we're trying to sell it as fast as possible for the most amount of money. Yes. All right. So uh, I think that about covers it. Um, we are not licensed appraisers. We if you want not. an appraisal, that is something very different. But please don't be surprised if the appraisal is different than the comparative market analysis. And also just a little fact about CMAs, any kind of agent should be able to do one for free. You just have to ask for it to be done and you also have to ask to get it given to you. Because mm -hmm. some people don't like to give it out, they'll just tell you what it's worth. No, you have the right to get it as long as you ask. Absolutely. And again, nobody should ever charge money for a CMA. If they do, come see us. Exactly. It's we'll do free. it for free. Yeah, precisely. You can just walk away with it. Yeah. Right, so, uh, but thank you for, uh, so much for joining us on The Real Tea. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see everybody. All yeah. right. We are the Move to Palm Beach team and we'll see you next time. Have a great one, guys.